Father Sonny Sebastian, a Divine Word missionary priest. He said, to what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of all plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can come and dwell in its shade. The gospel consists of two parables which are quite different in meaning but which have a common theme in being connected with the growth of plants. What is the kingdom? In the first parable, Jesus tells us what the kingdom of God is like. To belong to the kingdom or kingship of God then is to put oneself fully, consciously and deliberately under the power of God to experience that power and to be empowered by it. That power is above all the power of love. In today's gospel, Jesus is giving an image of that kingship or power of God at work. He compares it to the situation of a farmer planting seed on his land. Night and day, while he sleeps, when he is awake, the seed is sprouting and is growing. How? He does not know. And Jesus goes on. Of its own accord, the land produces first the shoot, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the crop is ready, he loses no time. He starts to reap because the harvest has come. The picture is clear. The building of the kingdom is God's work. It goes on whether we are working with it or not, whether we are aware of it or not. Jesus gives another image of the kingdom. This time he compares it to a mustard seed. Here the image is not on the inevitability of growth, but of how the kingdom emerges from tiny beginnings. The tiny mustard seed grows into a large shrub, so big that it can provide shelter for birds in its branches. It is clearly a parable of encouragement. We need to remember that when these words were written, the church was still relatively small. It was consisted of tiny communities scattered in cities, towns and villages all over the Mediterranean area. Today's parable assures the readers of the gospel like the mustard seed can grow. How surprised these early Christians would be to see the church today. How the mustard seed has grown. Lord, thank you for your word and your guidance. May your word grow in us. May we bring it to others through our words and our deeds.